Welcome back, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of the Texas State Bobcats Dynasty. Last time, we ventured to Lexington. Hostile crowd. And we just didn't have all the pieces put together. This is a young team. We lost a lot of our senior leadership over the last two years. We're replacing Tom Sutton. And UK had some serious speed. They're a top 20 team. I'm sure when I advance it, they're probably going to move up in the ratings, uh, the rankings. So we'll see about that. Um, and this week's game is not going to be nonetheless easier. I've done a few tweaks at some positions to try to get some people involved. I've also added a new spread uh, shotgun offense that maybe we can utilize a little bit to uh, get some pressure out of the box. But other than that, I don't know. It's just it's growing pains right now. We're going to have to see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and advance the week, and I'll catch up with you when we get back. One, two, three, four, get your woman on the floor. Gonna, gonna get up and get down. Gonna, gonna get up and get down. So good news. We had a bye week, and I went ahead and I just did the recruiting and stuff, and I was going to meet up with you all in week five. We had a tight end who was interested in us, and he wanted to visit. So I went ahead and let him visit. And we've already signed our first com commit for the next year. Taylor Shaw, a 70 overall tight end, has committed to our team. That frees up some points, and we got three other guys in the 70s ready to visit. Coach Conquest is busy this year. All right, that brings us to this week. We're in week five. We're ready to travel to South Bend, Indiana to take on the number three, Notre Dame Fighting Irish. I did check the top 25. UK is up to 14th in the polls. And as it says right there, tough road ahead. The Bobcats prepare for the toughest road game yet. This is the highest ranked opponent we've ever faced in this dynasty. I just want to keep it close. It could get ugly. You all know this. I just don't think we're up to that level yet. But we'll see. Their defense is just 97 overall and their offense is 95. Nothing to really worry about. We should be fine, right? Holy crap. Notre Dame has played three games. They're fifth in the nation in yards. So they move the ball. They're 16th in the country. They average 40 points a game. 316 passing yards at 200. Their quarterback and two centers are 98 and 96 overall. The backup doesn't even play, and he's the third best player on the team. And there's Notre Dame. We're here in South Bend, Coach Conquest trying to rally the bullies up. This is the biggest game. Whoever, that athletic director, why did he put this on the schedule? Ooh, look at those numbers. Two weeks in a row we've had to take on some serious offense. It's really showing us where we're at defensively, though, and what we're not. They like a champion a day. Oh, Notre Dame gets a custom thing because they have all their cool signage when they hit it and come out. But here come the Fighting Irish. I'm sure that uh, the Notre Dame song is playing lavishly right now, and all the Catholics are very happy about it. Oh my god, it's Lucky Charms. Who would have thought? I do like their sleeves. Their sleeves are pretty awesome. Very envious of those sleeves. Here we are, we're at Notre Dame Stadium here in South Bend, Indiana. Texas State has made another long trek. They went to Lexington, Kentucky last week, and now they make the big trek here to Indiana, home of Flatness. They gone. The number three ranked Fighting Irish. All right, we won the toss. We've won the tosses this year. We're gonna kick off. Here's Cortez Wilson to start this game. He doesn't have that leg straight to put it in the end zone like Sands did last year. Here comes George Thompson. He only had 255 yards, three touchdowns last game. A little over 50%. Crowd's ominously quiet here as we get ready to start the game. They got split backs back there. And he's going to keep the ball. And he's going to throw it out of bounds. So the first play from scrimmage is incomplete. Texas State had it covered. I'm not going to lie. I was a little excited. I think I saw one of the touchdown Jesuses back there behind the, the stadium. Lots of receivers out there now. Fritz, oh, Fritz broke that play up. He should have went up for it, but his slowness kind of broke up the catch. 
So uh, they go empty backfield again. Oh God, Edwards got destroyed on the line. And they'll hit him, beautiful pass near midfield. And that's gonna move the chains. Empty backfield. He got through there. Come on, bring him down! Humphrey! Gosh. God, we can't give up plays like that. Come on, boys. I know you can play defense. They're keeping the backfield empty. There's no running back in this game. Oh, we got through that time. Who was that? They're showing J.D. Carter, but I don't know if it was him. And they're bringing out a running back this time. We'll see if they go with the run or if it's just a decoy. Second and 10 here. Somebody get off your blocks, Green. It's gonna be first and goal, 14 yard run there. He got through, but he's gonna make the catch and Notre Dame is gonna score on their first drive of the day. Get to hear the Notre Dame theme song again, probably the first of many times today. Special teams comes out for the extra point, and it is right down the pipe. Seven nothing, Notre Dame leads here at home. Tulane upsets the number five team in the country, Oklahoma. That's two weeks in a row we've had a big top five upset. Notre Dame kicks off here. Roberson back here to return. Roberson gets hit way before the 20. Looks like he's near the 15. Texas State starts deep on their first drive. The crowd is madness. We've even got the squiggle cheese here. Lane goes in motion. Gets the blocks. Jones will get through. He'll get five on that. Just trying to cut through. They get a five here. They got a blitzer there on the outside. Burnett, Lane, Roberson, Stewart. Oh my God! And Horn gets plowed. Not ball batted down. My control is going crazy right now. I hope y'all can hear that. The pressure is on. And Burnett will catch it, and he pays the poor Burnett. He's going to have, like, 16 concussions. First and 10 here. Oh. Horn gets it off. Stewart makes the catch. Stewart down the middle, and it's a 20-yard reception. He shedded that sack and makes the throw. Horn, you can see he just dodged the linebacker and completed the play and put it right behind three defenders. Five were there to make the tackle. First to 10 here, near midfield. Jones, he'll get four. Still looking to get around that edge. Second and six here, Burnett, Stewart out there, both tight ends. Fake handoff. And he'll hit Lee, and Lee, Dylan Lee, I think that's his first catch of the year, will get three yards, makes it third and short. Toughest place to play, kicking in here. Burnett makes the catch. No, I think he dropped it. That's going to be fourth and three. Big decision here for Conquest. Tyson Stevens comes out the punt. Oh, they go after him. Oh, and they're going to down it at the four, I believe. Is that Greco there? Jason Greco gets to it. Four to go here in the first. Oh, and he gets through in a big sack there by J.D. Carter, the transfer. That's his first one of the day. Come in unblocked and makes the quarterback pay. Bell steps into the backfield here for Notre Dame. Oh God. Scales gets burnt. Oh, we had a linebacker back there and he couldn't keep up with the tight end. Texas State really needing a stop here with his third and one. Oh, and he'll, Franklin pulls him down in the backfield, and that will force the fourth down. Oh, he come out of there. They must not have picked him up. The senior left in. Hunts off. Kennery back to get this. Kennery runs right into somebody for some reason. 
Here comes the Notre Dame defense. They've only given up 37 yards today. First and 10 here. Hand off to Jones. Jones met in the backfield. Jones knocked down. He'll lose four. Notre Dame's defense all over that. They were crashing the right side, and they just come through. Second and 14 here. Lane makes the catch. Wade Lane, 10 yards there. That'll make it third and four. Third and four. Crowd getting crazy. Stuart Roberson Burnett out there. Jones in the backfield. Oh, what? Interception. How in the world did he come down with that? He pulled it through his chest cavity. Okay. Notre Dame with short field position here. First down catch, 22 yards. First to 10 here, they're at the 23. Quick throw. And he's going to scoop through, and he's trying to get through, and it's going to be first and goal now. Sidney Green brings him on the nine. And he's going to catch it in the back of the end zone. You can't hit him after the play, Ryan Green. Ryan Green beat George Thompson. He's 10 for 13 right now. Notre Dame just doing what they want. The secondary just not playing good coverage right now. One twelve left in the first quarter here. Kennery's going to bring this one out. Oh, he'll get pulled down. 21 yards. Notre Dame defense holding strong today. First and 10, Stewart Roberson Burnett out here. Big handoff. Burnett, what? Oh my God, Burnett. He makes the catch, but he pays the price. That man gets hit so hard every time he gets the ball. Just decleated. First and 10 here. Burnett Stewart out there, both tight ends. Counter play. Oh, he's got some room. Jones, he'll get eight yards on the play. He had some daylight, but it looked like it closed up quickly. Stewart, Roberson, Burnett out there. They've just not been able to establish the run game. And right there, that's not going to help. Darnell Jones, he'll get eight, lose three, and we're back to third and five. The end of the first quarter, number three Notre Dame, the Irish lead 14 to nothing over Texas State. They're just a more physical team right now. Third and five, Stuart Roberson, Burnett, Lane out there. Oh my God, Stuart makes the catch. That is not even who I threw it to, but he come back and made the catch. We'll take it. Third and eight here. with an amazing catch. Ryan Stewart dives for it. The senior out of Alabama went over three defenders making the catch and Texas State keeps it going. Six minutes till half. Texas State on the 25. Oh, and there's a hole. Jones goes through it. Jones is up to the 10 yard line. Maybe they hold him a little bit for it's first and 10. So on that last play there, the power of just getting Jones some space and letting him speed up. Jones, Jones, oh good Lord, Jones, he gets seven yards and they're gonna be close to the end zone. Again, three. And Burnett's gonna catch it, Sean Burnett scores the touchdown, Horn puts it on the money, and it is a 14 to six game all of a sudden. Extra point comes out, Wilson puts it through, and we've got a one touchdown game. Texas State and Coach Conquest showing some life. Wilson launches this one. It's gonna land near the five, so there'll be a run back. Oh, there's gonna be, oh my God, there's gonna be a big run back. And he'll get knocked out of bounds on the 40, a 55 yard return. Our special teams has to have like a D plus rating. They're, they're abysmal this year. Get him. Oh my God. Oh my Lord, are you serious? 
and he's gonna go all the way in a 41 yard scramble. We, I ran in gauge eight. We had the whole block filled and he just goes right through the middle of us. I'm ridiculous. Henry back to receive. Henry, he'll get 24. They're near the 25-yard line here. And Texas State's offense will come back on the field and try to do it again. So Texas State comes out with an empty backfield. And Henry will make the catch 11 yards. First to 10. McCoy, the backup halfback, makes that catch that's nine yards. Get it one here. Jones, he'll fall forward. He'll get three yards and the first down. 350 left till half. That makes it first to 10. Fake handoff. Oh, and he'll throw it, and Lane makes the catch. 15 yards. What a throw by Horn there. Rolls against his arm, throws it out there where only the tight end can make the catch. Well done. Third and 12 here. Crowd going a little crazy. Burnett makes the catch. Burnett will roll over, and that's 17 yards in the first down. Third and 10. Horn throws it, and Roberson makes the catch. What a snag there for the first down. Two minutes left till half, and they are cooking. First and 10, Horn settles under center. 149 left, fake handoff. He throws it in the end zone, not down. It was intended for Roberson. You don't want to come away with no points here. There's a handoff, Jones. Jones gets three, so third and seven. Big down here. Third and seven. Crowd. And Stewart will make the catch, and it's fourth and one. Coach Conquest, it's fourth and the long one. Gonna try to go for it here. And Jones, there's a flag on the play. Holding offense. No! No, come on. We should have took the points on the road. They run one more play. Just to get some yardage, I guess. Oh, he's still not down. Had to take us to halftime. So at halftime, it's Notre Dame 21, Texas State 7. We'll see if Conquest can make some adjustments and come back out. All right, the bad news, we're down by 14. The good news is we get the ball here to start the second. I don't know what Robertson was doing there. That was an interesting lean. Oh, he coughs it up. Robertson will pick it up. And they keep the ball. Crisis averted there. Oh my lord, that was close. First, down here. And Horn is sacked on the first play from scrimmage here in the second half. Not a good way to start. He didn't even get blocked there. Sean Perkins let him through. The junior out of Shirts, Texas, he's better than that. All right, we gotta change this play up a little bit. Roberson break that. Roberson will get nine, but still short, and that's probably going to force a punt. So the punt is away. Oh man, Morris, Morris getting knocked down. Come on, guys, I need you to make a tackle. For God's sakes, make a tackle. Booth. Meadows somehow made that. Oh my God, they are not missing anything right now. Second and ten, empty backfield here for Notre Dame. And Green makes the one-handed snag. The quarterback definitely getting warmed up here. Third and two. He's going in zone and he's wide open. Twenty-eight to seven is your score now. Notre Dame fans throwing lucky charms in the air. I don't know his real name. 
Roberson. Oh, good God, Roberson gets smashed. Yeah, look at their quarterback. Yep. First to ten, crowd really pumped up here. Hand off, linebacker comes through untouched. Jones crushed. Behind the line, three yard loss. Second and 13. Big handoff. Horn puts there, Roberson catches it five yards on that. We're just not getting yardage. We're just not getting yardage. Third and seven here. Stewart makes the catch, he's gonna be short. Ah, that's, that's gotta be a hold on that. He couldn't even turn. Good punt toward the line. Oh, he fumbles it a little. Greco will knock him out of bounds, so they keep him on their side of the field. That's two they've lost, but we know nowhere close to get. Shift the linebackers over a little bit. Put one receiver in motion. Get him! There we go! There we go, Fields! Forces a third and five. Oh my god. I'm so... Even when we have things covered and we got guys come in, they just have enough time to get rid of it. Oh, come on, for the love of God. First and goal for Notre Dame again. Oh, get him. <laughs> Why do I even say get him when I know they're not? Notre Dame scores again. The route is on here with two minutes left in the third quarter. Kenry gonna take this. I feel like Kenry's took all of these today. Oh, Kenry's got some daylight. Kenry's got a lot of daylight. Kenry going down. They're gonna chase it down. Kenry, Kenry down to the 30. Looks like the 28. Finally, sign of love and compassion from the football gods. Second and ten here. Third and 22. It's knocked down. Roberson didn't have a chance at it. Fourth down. Fourth and 22 here. They're just going to go for it. Try to get something going. Oh, he's going to just throw it deep. Oh, they're going to turn it over close to midfield. Notre Dame. Chance to add to their lead. Empty backfield for Notre Dame here. He's wide open. Wide open. Josh Sanders just leads him. Josh Sanders is a senior. Where did Josh Sanders go? He disappeared. He's not even in the replay. Put a whole bunch of linebackers out here. Stuck that middle. Oh my God, and it worked. John Scales come through and sacks the quarterback. That'll make it second and long. God, he was a man on a mission there. We go to the fourth quarter. Number three, Notre Dame has national championship hopes up 35 to seven over the Bobcats of Texas State. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Fritz! Ah, oh, Fritz. Knocks it down and makes it fourth down. Fritz needs an interception. Notre Dame out here to try for the three. Kick is wide left, and the score remains 35 7. If we can put something together here and come down and score, I'll be happy. Roberson with the catch there. That's going to be 15 yards. Nice play. It developed. We had good protection on the quarterback. Good move there. I was thinking about going to the tight end, but the coverage got over on him. Empty backfield here. Oh, he's wide open. Roberson again. Roberson. He'll get the first down. 14 more yards. 
Justin Horn over 200 yards passing today. Oh God, Jones gets hit again behind the line. Darnell Jones just not cutting it right now. Third and 15 here. Jones gets it, Jones on the side, Jones rushing for the first down, Jones gets the first down and then he's brought down. 19 yard reception by Jones there. And Texas State keeps the, the drive alive. What a throw by, I don't know how Horn did that, but we'll take it. Gotta love animations. Still struggling on some of these plays while the tight end gets the nod for the uh, Oh my God, Lane! Lane, get in there! Oh, he's on the one yard line. Wade Lane. And this puts us where we were last time and we didn't, we didn't complete the drive. So close. They've not loaded up their big uglies. I bet their linebackers are gonna come up though. And Jones gets demolished. God, he's so, he's so slow off the, but yet when he gets in the open field. Handoff and McCoy that time. McCoy cannot get in. Third and goal here. And Stewart will make the catch. And Texas State puts six more on the board here. Wilson puts the points through 35-14 with 4.24 left in the game. Stewart getting some congratulations on the sideline. We'll see if Notre Dame comes out here to waste some clock. Uh-oh, that one, that one looks like it's headed out of bounds and Notre Dame will let it. That's the second one this season that Wilson's put out of bounds on the kickoff. Our special teams is garbage. Garbage, I tell you. Still first down. So they're doing a hurry up offense, but they're not really rushing. And we'll stop them there, fourth and seven. So we're gonna get the ball back with about 3.30 left or something of that nature. Hunt is off, Kennery is back there. Kennery will only get a couple of yards. The 3.31 left, Texas State has the ball back. First to 10 here. And that one's picked off by Robertson. And that is the second turnover of the day. And Notre Dame gets it right back. I tried to hit him on the, he went up and was going over and he just, the guy cut off the route. And they're not wasting any clock, and he's going to be first and goal. Notre Dame over 300 passing yards today. This has been ugly. He's going to go there. I knew it. Pull him down. Oh, my Lord. He still gets two yards. Oh, he threw it, and... Oh. The option scores, and Notre Dame. Well, I know this, before we run into conference opponents, we're gonna have to really, oh my God, go back to the line about, I don't know, the Darnell Jones question may be in, Oh, look at that, he can't even run. There's no, the line is not blocking Notre Dame at all. We played so well against Penn State, and then here we are. The last two games, really struggling. Look at this, he just, he can't get off his blocks. Third and 13 here. Oh my God, he was wide open down the side and I couldn't get the throw off. I'm gonna put that one out of bounds. 29 seconds, are they gonna try to run the score up? Maybe. Their quarterback. 
I like how it gives us like coaching bonuses. Yeah, their quarterback, 22 for 31, 300 yards, three touchdowns. Final score here in South Bend, the number three Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, 42. The Bobcats of Texas State, 14. We've really been outclassed these last two, and it really makes me wonder about the caliber of people we've recruited. This is, um, I'm a little concerned right now. This is rough. Go in here and check our player stats. Justin Horn, 121.5. He was 22 for 38, sacked twice, 257 yards. He had two touchdowns, two interceptions. He didn't have a lot of time to throw today. He was uh, he was under constant barrage from linebackers. Darnell Jones, 18 attempts for 27 yards. Stewart, six catches for 67 yards and a touchdown. Roberson, five for 56. Burnett, the freshman, four for 44 yards and one touchdown. Tight end Wade Lane, three for 48. McCoy, Kennery, Lee, and Jones all also had one catch. Humphrey, All-American, All-Conference Captain Defense, six tackles, six of them were solo. Sanders, five tackles. Franklin Booth, four. Carter, Fritz, Greco, Hughes, and Scales, a couple to one each. Sacks by Carter and Scales today. Tyson Stevens, four punts for 154 yards. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> Road game is too much. Notre Dame sends the Bobcats back to San Marcos with a loss. Yeah, that was that was that was a loss. Your coaching assistants are reviewing the game tapes. Let's not lose like that again. Okay, we'll try not to go against the number three team in the country again. That was rough. I mean, I think we got a dose of reality today. We've been riding high on Tom Sutton for the last couple of years. And we don't have Tom Sutton to go to this year. He's not there for those third downs that we need, even those third and fives or third and eights. Um, I might have to go back and re... I'm, I may have to just overhaul the complete offensive playbook. I think defensively we didn't do bad. They didn't score 60 on us. Um, we just, our freshman cornerback got burnt again. That's two games in a row that that's happened. Um, but I don't have anybody else to put in place of him. Our depth chart's just not that deep on secondary. Um, and realistically, I mean, I like a realistic game. So, I mean, that was, that was pretty much a realistic. I don't even know if we would have scored in real life, if they would score 14 on Notre Dame, we should have had 17. I shouldn't have went for that one on the road. You always take the points. And I didn't, especially against that type of defensive line that uh, the Fighting Irish were putting out there. It's a lesson. Again, I can't wait to see the comments on this one and see what you all suggest. But as always, thanks for watching. We are one and two now. We've been here before, and we finished much higher than that. Uh, we'll have to see it rebound and recover and get the boat in the right direction. So leave some comments below. Let me know what you all are thinking. As always, thanks for watching. And I will see you all next time. Night, Bobcat Nation.